angry. Dun dun. <gasps> but luckily, someone ke keeps pain meds at their desk. That's right, always keep pain meds at your desk. It, it could save your life. Okay, that's enough that. Thank you. You're welcome. Erg. Well, that's a great way to die. Oh look, another news report. They're gonna be mean to me some more. New York City is in crisis tonight with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Wait. Oui. They're mad at me because I killed a mafia crime boss who was wanted for murders and also I killed, um, you know, some high up mafia goonies. So they're mad at me for killing people from the mafia that they were just probably going to arrest and kill anyways? Hmm. I'm sorry, you just fail at life should kill you. Christmas time. This week on address unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Flamingo on the TV. That's great. Talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks like You hold it. Run. What the weird what? Huh? Oh, come on. My name is Captain Shippo. Oh. I don't want to go there. Shut up. What your face? Ha. Huh. That's better. Stupid television shows. Open the door, Max. There you go. There's a good boy. Whoa. Max's jacket is so incredibly powerful, he can just smash through windows with ease. Oh well, that's, that's just lovely. It's always red or blue in the movies. So green? No, not the green. Oh. Uh -huh. Hmm. That works too. Huh? Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, there you are. Good thing you shot at me, or else I wouldn't have known that I had to go up here. Thank you, random thugs who missed me, who missed every shot at me. You are quite nice. 
Oh no! This one has better aim! You suck. You just said that what they were doing, they're doing nothing. Why do you ask a question and then answer it and then ask it again? Okay. F5. <laughs> I'm a creeper. Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fat! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. Uh -huh. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Got me to be I made like Chow Yun fat. Chow Yun? Ooh, thanks for killing your friend. I'm glad you guys are stupid. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. Oh my gosh, a crumpled letter. Read the crumpled letter. Read it! Oh god, Max, what are you doing? The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. No kidding. Hmm. Anyways, we'd, we probably should chase after him. Anyways. Hmm. Huh. Well, I can't go that way. So I'll probably have to jump out a window somewhere. Whee! Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels. But it's fear that gives men wings. Oh my god, you know the name of this chapter. Good job, Max Payne. He figures these things out well. OMG! Stop in the name of the unlaw. Hey now. Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Come on, Mr. Train! Yeah! That would hurt. A lot. I'm just gonna jump onto this high speeding train. Hooray! Police brutality. Ah, oh, whatever. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. Oh, look what you did. You left a huge mess on the top of that train. That is horrible. You better be planning to clean that up. Jump, Max! Whee! Very graceful. He's like a ninja. You run stupidly. Woo! Anywho. Uh, after that creepy blonde guy. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh my god, now I'm running stupidly too. Run faster, Max. There we go. Oh my god. Uh oh. Screw you. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss. You got it. No problem. Their faces are stupider than mine. This is horrible. <laughs>